Shalom. Call Halal, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Raka Kadash. Double honest to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught me this truth and rule well. Salutations to the brothers out there that are laboring and pushing this truth in truth and in sincerity and in charity and risking their lives and their freedom to do so. To you I say Shalom. To the Akiam and to the Akwaf. That will be you brothers and sisters. Adawan Rataza. That is to say, Lord willing. Hopefully by the end of this short lesson, you will be edified. This is your brother Amawan Ibad. Back again with another lesson in the through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai to feed the sheep of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai as commanded. Um, didn't have any scriptures pulled. This is uh, sort of organic, you know, all through the spirit. Um, it's in, it's got, this is in transit. But I uh, just want to continue to exhort brothers and uh, a few sisters that are in this uh, this thing of ours, this truth of ours, want to uh, encourage and exhort you all to continue in the faith and to keep pushing and keep fighting. You know, now is not the time to get weak nor weary, you know, because we see the prophecies going forward. You know, we see we see the prophecies going forward. We see things happening. You know, it's not like a long time ago where you, you're not actually seeing, everyone is seeing these prophecies going forth, man. You know, the book of, um, what's that, Romans. We could get that real quick. Romans chapter um, 13 and verse 11. Right? Romans 13 and 11. Let's get that real quick. Where it says, knowing the time. Romans chapter 13 and 11. It says, and that knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believed. Our salvation is nearer than we believe, man. Now is the time to keep pushing forward. You know? Keep praying. You know? Praying always. The scripture tells you, 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse 17. You know? Pray without ceasing. Now is the time. You know? We in that time where things are going to get rough. You know? The scripture speaks about it. Uh, 2 Timothy chapter 3 and verse 1. And this know also... That in the last days, perilous times shall come. We in those days, brothers and sisters, you know, we ought, we ought to uh, put on the whole armor of the Most High. As I tell you in the book of Ephesians chapter 6, okay, and verse 11 going down. It lets you know that. Put on the armor of the Most High, okay, because this is the time that we're in, you know. This is the time that we're in, man. Continuing on in the book of Romans chapter 13, verse 12 says, The night is far spent. The day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. There you go. Going back to Ephesians. As a matter of fact, let's go to Ephesians. Let's get that. That's the spirit, man. All right? Let's get, let's get Ephesians. Because, you know, we ought to continue on in the faith, man. The Lord said um, 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 in Luke chapter 18 and verse 8, you know, uh, when the Son of Man come and shall he find faith on earth. The scripture tell you, Hebrews 11 and 6, that it's impossible to please the Most High. Okay? Unless you have faith. You have to believe. For he that cometh to the Most High have, have, have to know that he is. And he's the rewarder of them that did, diligently seek him. So faith is, 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 is going to be whereby you're going to be saved. You know? It's not all of the law. Because the scripture tell you, James 2 and 10, if you, if you, if you, if you offend in one point, Okay? You 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 uh you you break all the laws, roughly paraphrasing. So it's not of the law, it's by faith. It's by works and by faith whereby you believe. Okay? 
lest any man should boast and tell you that in Ephesians 2 and 9 it's not of yourself it's a gift from the most high Ephesians 2 and 8 6 yeah 2 and 8 and 9 tell you say unless any, unless any man should boast okay so hey man so why do y'all bash me out shy call the Lord like y'all bash me out shy for taking me out of darkness and, 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 and brothers and sisters that believe on Yahweh by Sh Shim Yahweh Shai. Okay? For taking us out of darkness and bringing us into his marvelous light. That we are royal priests of the peculiar people that should show forth the praises. Roughly paraphrasing of him who took us out of darkness and bring us into his marvelous light. Yahweh by Shim Yahweh Shai. Alright? Hey, that's what it is, man. There's no going around it, man. We need some 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 serious times, yeah, beautiful times. You know? You have to understand this thing. In order for our kingdom to come, this one got to go down. Okay? Second Ezra 6 and 9. Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it which followeth. All right? It is what it is, man. But here's Ephesians. Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 10. It says, Finally, brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of the most high that he may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil okay he's talking about his trickery his cunningness okay his craftiness his crafty counsel you know you want to be able to stand against the wild the wiles of the devil in the evil day okay um verse 12 says for we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities against powers against the rulers of darkness of this world against spiritual wickedness in high places okay wherefore take on to you the whole armor of the most high that he may be able right to stand in the evil day and having done all to stand stand therefore having your loins girt about with truth and having on the breastplate of righteousness, okay, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace, above all taking the shield of faith wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked, all right, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of the most high, verse 16 says, praying always, okay, praying always this is what you got to be doing okay praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all the saints okay and the saints are the Israelites man which goes back to you so-called Negroes Latinos and Native Americans man okay whose blood lineage goes back to Abraham Isaac and Jacob Okay, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta be seeking the Lord in these times, man. Yahweh ba Hashem Shai. Okay, the scripture tell you, uh, Isaiah chapter fifty-five and verse six: Seek the Lord while he may be found; call ye upon him while he is near. Okay, this is what you gotta do, man. You gotta be focused in these times. These are some, these are some trying times, man. That's coming upon us right now. You see, they getting, they getting the max scene ready. That's murder she wrote, man. Huh? They getting Maxine ready. Murder she wrote. They want to vaccinate you. Okay? It's vaccination season, man. All right? It's vaccination season, man. They're talking about, you know, against the Royal, the Royal Crown 19. Now they're talking about a new strain over there in the UK. You know? A new strain. A mutant. <laughs> You know, they say travel real fast, it's more it's more infectious, you know? What's next? You ain't seen nothing yet, man. The scriptures speak about pestilence. Okay? Death, famine, destruction, and pestilence, man. The sword. All of these things are prophesied. And it's on its way. Okay? It's on its way, man. It is what it is, man. Read the book of, um, in the Apocrypha, read the book of uh, 2 Ezra chapter 15 and 2 Ezra chapter 16. And you will see it, man. It's prophesied. These things are coming. 
famine, death, destruction. Okay? But also, in all of that, the Most High is going to lift up a standard for us also. You know? The triple D's is on its way, man. Death, destruction, and deliverance. Okay? Death, destruction, and the deliverance, man. The triple D. The triple D's is on its way. Okay? And even though tribulation and bad time is coming, the Most High is going to lift up a standard. Okay? Because the devil knows that he have a, a, a short time. You know? Let me read those two scriptures real quick. Let me get that. Uh, Revelation chapter 12 and verse 12. This is what's happening, man. Okay? Because, because they're losing their kingdom, they want to come down onto you. This is why all of a sudden they want so-called black and brown people... They want them to be vaccinated more than anybody else, as if they ever put us first in the line for anything good over 500 years. They never did that, but they can do it now. They're not going to do it, man. The scripture tells you to never trust the enemy, man. Okay? So, Rock, or Ecclesiastes chapter uh, 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 12, at the 10 verse going down, man. Never trust thine enemy, for so is iron rusted, so is his wickedness, man. Okay, roughly paraphrasing. But this is the book of Revelation chapter 12 and verse uh, 12, and it says, Therefore rejoice ye heavens, okay, ye heavens, meaning you Israelites, man, and ye that dwell in them. Woe, woe means destruction, woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. So the devil is going to come down, having great wrath, man. The scripture tell you in the book of Second Ezra chapter 16, uh, that a great multitude is candle over you, a great multitude. It's candle over you, okay? Don't, don't they say that they want to use the military to, uh, 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 to, 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 to deal with the vaccinations? So, they, in other words, they forcing you, they're going to force you to take that. If you're not grounded in the Lord, you have a shy. You have a shimmy or shy, you know? So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to read one more scripture and I'm going to get ready to close out, man. Let's go to the book of Isaiah, chapter 59. And verse 19, because the Lord is gonna, the Lord is gonna lift up a standard, man, against this devil. You know, he, he he's not gonna get to just do what he wants to do, continue in his folly. You know, the scripture, uh, Job chapter 14 and verse 5, tell you that he have bounds that he cannot pass. That mean, meaning his rulership is gonna come to an end. His rulership is gonna come to an end at some point. And he, he's not, he's not going to be able to harm the children of Israel anymore. Okay? He's not going to be able, he's not going to, be able to do it. So like here, i got to go through uh, security real quick. Let me go through and I'll, I'll continue this and close out. Morning, gentlemen. What's up, bro? Hey, How y'all doing? got a window open, bro. <laughs> Damn. I play lotto today. Yeah. <laughs> you might win something. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's a lock here, brother. Yeah, uh, I'm getting this last uh, scripture right here, and then we're going to get ready to close up so I can go inside. Go inside the job here and, and, and not be late. Um... There's Isaiah. Isaiah. Let's get that real quick and close out. Yeah, man. Because the Most High is going to lift up a standard against this devil, man. You know, when he starts to put his, 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 his hands on the apple of the, uh, 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 you know, the apple of the Most High's eye, the elect of Israel, you know. So, um, and this last one giving me trouble, but uh, I'll get it real quick. So Isaiah chapter 59, because we said it in Revelation 12 and 12, the devil should come down and have a great wrath because he knows that he has but a short time. But when he do that, this is what's going to happen. This is Isaiah chapter 59 and verse 19. It says, so shall they fear the name of the Lord, Yahweh, from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him. And that's what's going to happen. The spirit of the Lord is going to lift up a, spirit, a standard against him, man. When you go into this word standard, it's going to, uh, it go into uh, 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 escape. You know, flee, disappear. You know, 
because uh, the men of the Lord are gonna have, are gonna get spiritual powers, man, in that, in that time and in, in that day. You know, the Scripture tells us say, in, 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 in the day, in the day, in the day of thy power, thy people shall be willing, man. So hey, it is what it is, what it is, man. We're gonna trust in the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, and we're gonna make the Lord our habitation, man. He that abide in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Okay, Psalms ninety-one and one, man. You know, so I'm gonna leave it there. I'm, I, I reach my destination. I'm gonna go ahead and give all honor and glory and praises unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone and taught me this truth and rule well. Salutations to the brothers that are pushing this truth in truth and in sincerity and in charity and risking their lives and their freedom to do so. Okay, so until the next time, Adawan Rathazada, just to say, Lord willing, I'm going to say, Shalom.